I'm learning how to be a woman, attempting to grow into myself without stretching out my skin or leaving any loose ends untied. I got a whole lot of soul, with just enough space to hold all the galaxies inside of myself that I can't even name. My name is Taylor. It is derived from a Latin word which means to cut, and though I know my mother's colonized tongue is partially responsible for this unfortunate mishap, I'd like to imagine that 24 years ago an angel appeared to her in a dream and said, Woman unto you a child is born, and her tongue will be made of steel, and her words will cut like blade. Mama, I hope I live up to my name. There are nights when I am wild, vine, mornings when I am summer garden, and days when I am plump sky, belly filled and aching with loud thunder and rain. Stormy weather calls me on occasion, but drought, drought has never known me. All this rain means I'm still growing, and I got the stretch marks to prove it. Once. I complained to God about how clumsy my confidence could be. And in the very next instant, these are the exact words that came to me. He said, no, no daughter, you're not perfect. You are everything perfection could not be. You are the reason beauty woke from its sleep. It, it dreamt of you last night called your name last night. Last night, I looked into the mirror and I realized that I was the reflection of the divine. So to doubt myself would be nothing short of heresy. I am walking scripture. I am free verse. I am the illest freestyle God was spitting in the cipher the unimaginative like to call the beginning. Life is just beginning. But I understand it won't always be this poetic. It will lack rhyme and reason, unfold in very peculiar and unforgiving ways. And on the days I find this true, when the shame of my mistakes is ready to make a meal of me, I hear God say, if only you would trust me. There is no shame in your mistakes. You're just learning. Remember, your name is Taylor. So when you stand, hold your spine straight as a razor's edge. Carve an arch in your back and walk the way your mama taught you. Remember, you are holding galaxies inside of you. So when you stride, balance the orbit of your hips like the world is depending on you. Young woman, rise. The world is depending on you.